you should already understand the concept of division. So now we are going to look at some methods you can use to work out division using positive numbers. To start with, we are going to look at 84 divided by 7. Here we have 84 circles organized into 7 rows. We can split this up into a group of 70 circles and a group of 14 circles. To find the answer, all we need to do is count the number of circles in a single row. In the first group of circles, we can count 10 circles in each row. In the second group, there are 2. This means that there are 10 plus 2 in each of the 7 rows. There are 12 circles in each row. This means that 84 divided by 7 equals 12. It's not always possible to draw out a grid fully. Sometimes the number you are dividing into is just too big. If we want to divide 693 by 3, we need a different way of doing it. Let's look at the multiples of 3 in each place value. First we have the multiples of 3, then the multiples of 30, and finally the multiples of 300. We know that our target number is 693. So we are going to see how far down in each place we can get without exceeding our target number. The largest multiple of 300 without going over 693 is 600. We take this away from our target. Now we repeat this process with the multiples of 30. Our target number has been reduced to 93. So the largest number we can get to is 90. We subtract this from our target number. Finally, we look at multiples of 3. The largest multiple of 3 we can reach without exceeding our target number is 3. Now our target is reduced to 0. We can use this process to work out the answer. We can count down each place value to build up our answer. We count down 2 to get to 600. We count down 3 to get to 90. And we count down 1 to get to 3. Putting these numbers together, we get our answer. 231. You don't always need to write out all the multiples. We can rewrite the calculation like this. Notice the bracket symbol we have used. The number we are dividing into goes inside the symbol and the number we are dividing by goes to the left of the symbol. To work out the answer, we divide each part of the number separately. We first look at the hundreds place value. We divide this 6 by 3. 3 goes into 6 twice, so we put the 2 directly above the 6. Next we look at the tens place value. We divide this 9 by 3. 3 goes into 9 3 times. Again this 3 goes directly above the 9. Finally, we look at the units place value. We divide this 3 by 3. 3 goes into 3 once. We put 1 directly above the 3. Now, if we read along the top, we have the answer, 231. By either method, we can work out that 693 divided by 3 is 231. You can now use either of these processes to do any division.